It's over. But not for us. Not for us. There was a big difference in my life before and after the explosion in 2003. In my heart, I, I felt that I died that day. When someone is suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD, very often they're feeling haunted by what happened to them in their past. They may think about it when they don't want to. When they do think about it, it doesn't feel good. It upsets them in their bodies. It upsets them emotionally. Very often they try to avoid thinking about it, avoid any reminders or triggers. Very often they are cut off from people around them and not experiencing emotions like they used to. They have problems sleeping, problems concentrating, very often feel very irritable or have angry outbursts, are easily startled, and in some ways are almost always waiting for the other shoe to drop. Even though they're back in the United States and they know they're not in a war zone, they still feel very vulnerable and like something could happen at any minute to them or someone they love. And I don't sit around and dwell on it. I don't sit around and think about it and get sorry for myself. I don't do any of that. I just try to move on and, and not feel it. I try to not uh, have the intrusive thought get control of me. He has this constant ringing in his ears and there's a certain pitch that if he hears the pitch, it physically hurts. And that kids can get that perfect pitch when they're screaming or crying and just send them to the man. And he's like, you don't understand, it hurts when you do that, stop, you know? And, and then the next minute he's like hugging them and says, I love you, you know, I'm sorry. Now, if you are the wife of a veteran, uh, you may find that you develop a caregiver burden. It's not quite the same as developing his or her PTSD. It's just that you have to take care of this person, but for a period of weeks or months or even years, they're not the same. We're in our eighth year now, and I'm still learning every day. You can't predict it. There is no um, handbook, there's no guidebook, there's uh, things that you discover accidentally and on your own, and what you want to do is pay it forward so somebody else doesn't have to wait so long to learn about it. I generally get two hours of sleep at a time because that's how he sleeps, and that's around the clock, maybe two hours at a time. You keep convincing yourself that the worst is behind you, and I think that's what helps you keep going.